Oh man, Joseph, I love Pizza Palooza. Me too, dude. We need to do this more often, like every day. Yeah, that'd be so awesome. Hey guys, sorry I'm late to Pizza Palooza. Yeah, we kind of got stuck in a situation. Yeah, stuck being the operative word. Were you stuck in traffic? No, we walked here. Well, do you want some pizza? Well, I don't think I should be eating anything until I unclog the exit. What the hell? Is that Ken? Yeah, he stuck up my ass. How did Ken get stuck up your butt? I don't know, it just happened. You don't just get a doll stuck up your ass, dude. Okay, me and Timmy were playing Plug of War. That is not a game. Yes, it is. It's where we test to see how strong our sphincters are by putting each end of Ken. Well, Cody, we don't want to hear it. Yeah, please stop. Well, anyway, I won, and now Ken is stuck up there. But if you look at him, he looks kind of like the Wicked Witch of the East when Dorothy's house landed on her. Except instead of a house, it's my asshole. Well, why don't you just pull Ken out? I tried! Yeah, I was kind of hoping maybe all three of you guys could try pulling. Dude, I'm not touching Ken. It's no telling where the other end of Ken has been. Up my ass? Yeah, I thought we were pretty clear on that. Okay, well, why don't you just call a doctor to help? Okay, I will. At least it won't be as embarrassing as the last time I had to call a doctor about the rash on my butt. Oh, I forgot we're not Family Guy. I don't know why I thought there would be a cutaway there. Okay, I'll call the doctor. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yeah, he has a doll up his ass. I'm sorry, did you say a dollar? No, a doll, like a Barbie. Oh, like a toy doll. Well, how did that happen? Did you fall off a bunk bed into a toy box? No, we were playing Plug of War. Have you ever heard of it? No, but I can take a guess now. So how can you get Ken out of his butt? Well, this reminds me of the time Mad Ice McGee had a stick stuck up his ass. Who's Mad Eyes McGee? I don't have time to explain it now. Maybe in the next video. Okay, so how can you get him out of his butt? Well, I could try to pull him out, but I don't want to rupture his colon. All right, let me try it. Ooh, oh, God. No, 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 I would have done that. that. Oh, that tastes terrible. Sorry, I had asparagus for dinner last night. And a shitload of pineapple. Ugh, I can still taste it. Oops. Okay, so how can you get him out if he's stuck in there? Well, I could put petroleum jelly on there and see if he slides out, but the only kind of jelly I have in my glove box is grape. I'll do whatever you gotta do, Doc. Okay, I'll go get the jelly. You just stay bent over like that. Oh, that's how we got into this mess. Ooh, Cody, if you stay bent over like that, I might put something else up there. Ooh, do it. All right, you mother smuckers, I got the Concord grape jelly. Is it weird that I can taste it? Jesus. Is it weird that I want to taste it? All right, that's enough of me, nigga. I'm out. Well, I also get peanut butter. Ooh, Doc, if you leave us alone for a few minutes, I could totally make a PB&J in between those buns. Please stop. I'm doing a very important procedure here. Okay, kid, I'm gonna try to pull it out. Just don't clench, okay? No promises, Doc. It's like the Nutty Putty Cave in there. I hate this so much. Okay, get ready. Three, two, one. <laughs> Ugh, okay, kid, I got him out of there. That was so hot. Wait, Doctor, he's still missing his head. You have to go back up there and get it. Oh, man. Kid, if his head's in there, it's gotta be really deep. I don't no. So no head? Look, just go to the bathroom and try to push it out. Okay. Okay, I sat on the toilet and strained real hard, and this is all the stuff that came out. Let's see. I got a jumbo-sized lollipop. Damn! I got an Oscar. Don't know whose that is. I got this Nerf bullet. I got a king-size Sharpie. I got a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. Ooh, I got the Master Chief from Halo. I got this Dragon Ball. Gonna have to make another one of those pretty soon. Oh, and I got Ken's head. So let me just put that back on there. Actually, you know what? I should wash him off, too. Okay, Ken's back and he's all clean. Well, I guess my work here is done. Just don't put anything else up there. No promises. Well, Ken, did you enjoy the view? <laughs> all right, let's have some pizza. Oh, Junior, did you shit your pants? No. Well, something in this room smells like straight-up fart and grape jelly. Maybe it's your butt, because you literally had grape jelly up there. Junior, my butthole is as clean as a whistle. You know how when you get an empty Coke bottle and you blow on the top and it whistles like... <sighs> That's my butthole. Okay, well, it's not me, and I don't know what that smell is. Hmm, is it the pizza? No, it's not that. Oh. Oh, Ken, you smell like ass. Yeah, because he was literally up yours. But I washed him off with so much water. Did you use soap? No, why would I? Because you're supposed to use soap to clean him. Oh, well, I mean, I guess we could try that, because he is stinking. Is that a word? Well, stinking's a word, but stinking is not. Unless you say it like, he be stinking. You know, if you say it fast, it sounds like a word. Okay. Okay, well, come on, Ken, let's get you washed up. Ugh. All right, now we just have to wait for it to fill up. Doctor, Cody has a big nasty red rash on his tushy. Yeah, I was wiping too much. Now, Cody, you know when you have a poopy tushy, you're supposed to call mommy. You're supposed to say, Mommy, please come wipe me. I know. So what are you going to do next time you got a poopy tushy wushy? I'm going to call mommy. That's right. Now, Doctor, Cody needs ointment for his poopy tushy. Now, Cody, apologize to the nice doctor for wasting his time because kids with poopy tushies are bad little owls. I'm sorry, doctor. I'm a bad little owl. Hoot, hoot. That's the sound owls make. What the hell was that? Was that the cutaway I asked for a few minutes ago? Why, why was it late? 
Wh whatever. Let's just wash Ken. Grab a whole bar of soap. Okay. Okay, he should be all squeaky clean. Let me see. Oh god, he still smells like crap! No way. Oh god, how does he smell worse? Ooh, let me smell. Oh, I kind of like it. It smells like your ass. My ass does not smell like that. Listen, Cody, you gotta throw Ken away. He's disgusting. No, Junior. Well, give him another bath. Well, I already used a whole bar of soap. Why don't we use the washing machine? Why would you use a dead president? What? He said use George Washing Machine. Junior, do you think our first president's name was George Washing Machine? Isn't that his name? No, it's George Washington. Why do you think it's called Washington, D.C.? I thought it was Washing Machine, D.C., and the D.C. stood for Delicate Cycle. No, let's go put him in the Washington Machine. All right, let's put Ken in the Washington Machine. Okay, let's just throw him in there and then put this on heavy duty. Why not small load? Oh, we never have small loads. True, true. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I love the way the Washing Machine vibrates. It's done! Okay, let me just get Ken out of there. He should smell much better now. Ugh, he still smells like butthole. Why don't we try the dishwasher? Yeah, I guess those things do wash dishes and there are some pretty stinky foods. It's worth a shot. <coughs> Wait, Cody, why are you throwing your doll in my dishwasher? Because I had him up my butt and now he's stinky. This is a dishwasher, not an ass washer, Cody. Get him out! But come on, Chef PB, this is our last idea. Well, you're not gonna clean him in my dishwasher. You're gonna get my dishes dirty. Get him out now. <sighs> okay, fine. <sighs> Maybe I can take him to some kind of Chinese spa. Ooh, that's a great idea, and I'll Google ways to clean him in case that doesn't work. Okay. Ugh, right there, Rafiki. Get my shoulders. You feel that knot? That's where I carry my stress. Oh no, you stress out. Yeah, because my sweatshop employees want more money. I personally think that they're overpaid. Nine cents a day is enough. Now get the hot candle wax in my ass. Oh, Yankee Doodle went to town riding on a pony, stuck a feather in his ass and called it fuck! Oh no, you okay? Of course I'm okay, Rafiki, now use two fingers this time! Ah! Mm. Hello, sir. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay, what do you want? How you are enjoying your spa day? Oh, it's great! She just got to the good part! Now tell Rafiki and Bing Bong not to forget my happy ending. Mother, don't forget his happy meal! Oh, of course! Oh, hold on, sir. Getting more customer walking in. Hello, sir. Welcome to Hong Wong Dong Spa. How may I help you? Uh, yeah, my boyfriend's really stinky, and I was just wondering if you guys had, like, a spa treatment that could make him smell better? Hold on, let me smell. Oh, hurry, shit, he's so tinky. No, no, can't help you. Wait, so you can't help? No, we can give him manicure or pedicure or yum yum right. But you can't give him like a bath or something? No, but we can give him happy ending. No, I can do that. Never mind. All right, now I'm going to pull it to Sean Watson. Okay, I'm back. How'd it go? Well, they said they couldn't do it. They only do happy endings. You didn't get one, did you? No, of course not. I have you. Okay, good. Just tell Cody your idea to make Ken smell better. Okay, so I googled a bunch of stuff, and the only thing we haven't tried yet is to spray Ken with cologne to make him smell better. Well, that might at least mask the shit smell. Let's see. Ugh, no, that didn't work at all. Now he just smells like Macy's and shit. Aw, that was my last idea. Junior, do you have any ideas to make Ken smell better? We could take a car air freshener and put it around his neck. Ugh. I was saying my idea, Cody. Don't interrupt. Oh my god, what happened to your face? I'm allergic to the cologne. You're not allergic to my colon. <sighs> That was a stretch. Oh no, it's definitely a stretch, especially the Cody. Like, it's not supposed to stretch, but it totally does. Guys, I'm dying! Okay, guys, don't move. I watched a TikTok that'll help with this. What? Junior, what the fuck are you doing? A TikTok dance. How is that supposed to help? If you heard the music that goes with this, you would think it was crazy. Yes, Junior, I'm sure it's a very sick dance, but I'm dying over here. I would call 911, but my phone's downstairs. I would call 911, but my phone died from watching TikTok. Somebody get a goddamn phone. Okay, rock, paper, scissors, who gets their phone? Okay. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Guys, stop singing the Ed and Eddie theme song. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Somebody help me. Oh, I like Ed and Eddie, Cody. It's a great show, but I'm going to die. Okay, I will grab my phone, but you have to let it charge first. Yeah, Timmy, go get your phone. No, I'm going to stay here and do CPR until Junior gets back. Well, but I can't breathe. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Oh, God, what's wrong with your face? I sprayed him with my colon. Ew. No, 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 he's allergic to cologne. Oh, that makes so much more sense. I I need an EpiPen! Oh, well, I don't have an EpiPen, but, uh, I do have a weed pen out in my car. You wanna hit that shit? Huh? You wanna hit that fucking shit, bro? 
You, you want to hit that shit with me right now, dog? Huh? You want to hit that shit? I need an EpiPen! Oh my god, you're such a square. Well, I don't have an EpiPen, but I do have this other pen that I like to click when I'm thinking, but I don't know where that is right now, so I'm all out of ideas. Okay, well, is he going to die if he doesn't get his EpiPen? Well, let me take a look at him. Mm, no, I don't think he's going to die. But he looks like he's going to die! Hey. I'm a doctor, okay? I went to two years of online community college. I think I am more than qualified to say if he's gonna die or not. But my father says you need an eight-year degree to get a doctorate. Oh yeah? Well guess what? I'm also a cop, and I happen to know that your father was arrested in 1993 for dressing up like a girl and being a prostitute. It all makes sense now. Yeah, so uh, he doesn't need an EpiPen. He'll be fine. Wait, what is that awful poop smell? Oh, is this Ken doll? Wait, hold on. No, he smells like cologne. Wait, hold on. Yeah, he does smell like cologne, but I still smell the poop. Oh, God, it's you. Wait, 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 kid, did you poop your pants? Yeah. Wait, Cody, you accused me of pooping my pants. I know. So you knew the whole time? Yeah, I just didn't want anybody to know I pooped my pants. You could have went home. I know, but my pants were just so poopy. Oh, kid, you know I'm gonna have to tell your parents now, right? Please don't! I'm sorry, I gotta go tell the tushy monster. Cody, is what the doctor told me true? Do you really have a poopy tushy? Yeah! Why didn't you call mommy to come and wipe you? Because my tushy was so poopy! Oh, Cody, now you're gonna get a rash. Why didn't you make it to the toilet in time? Well, because I had a lollipop up my ass, and a Rubik's Cube, and Master Chief, and an Oscar, and a really big Sharpie, and a Dragon Ball, and when I took all that stuff out, it was like a tsunami of doo-doo. Oh, Cody. Apologize to your friends for making such a big stink. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a poopy little owl. Hoot, hoot. Come on, Cody. Let's take that poopy tushy back home.